family, hello YouTube, social media family, this is Big Boss Calvin, 83, <clears throat> the real Big Boss Calvin, 83, <clears throat> I gotta share this because this is, this story is very chilling, and I have to speak on this, I just have to speak on this, because it's very chilling and it's very disturbing, I actually cringed, and I need to address this, but again, we have basically before I play the video, a little uh, play the video. We have a a, a, a older black woman, um, brutally murdered, and I just I think I'm gonna just I don't even know how to even start to be honest with you, but I will have to play the. I, you know, we had so basically, basically, let me just play the clip. Um, I don't know if I want to feel like reading this because it's just cringeworthy. So she was brutally, brutally murdered inhumanely. Where she, or I mean, I'm talking about maim, body mutilation, you name it, in the most gruesome way. And she was a divester. Okay. And let me put in a disclaimer. Uh, um, I have to speak on this because this is I have no agenda to uh, as far as the divestment community, as far as the swirling community. I don't care who you date. I don't care who you sleep with. I don't give a flying shit. OK, what I have a problem is the delusion when it comes to these divestors. Particularly melanated women, particularly the black women and white men. Okay, not to say you that you don't have black men guilty of the same delusion of swirling, because believe it or not, people, I keep the same energy. But when stuff goes wrong with black men. It's a different type of energy. And I noticed that black women say, I told you so. Then you got black men, especially the, 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 the pro wax simps saying that that's what he gets for laying in the caves and all this other foolishness. But when it comes to black women that they claim to care about, they're so pro ho pro heifer. When it comes to being pro, because the con the unconscious community with, with and the pro wax the um, black unliberation of the with the with the slave mentality of this cave worship, this white male worship doesn't get talked about. And again, we have another story. And shout out to Red Supreme because I know I caught a because I caught a bit of his I caught a little bit of his live stream, and I, I, I and he was talking about this. He was kind of he was also talking about Lawrence Smithfield. So. Before I even go in, and I think I might share something else because this story is, see, I told you, all these pro-feminists, these pro-womanists, black womanists, these, these white feminists, especially these black feminists, where's the energy? I thought y'all cared about black women. I thought you cared about the sisterhood. But you know what? I'm not shocked. Let me just play the video. Details are disturbing. Absolute details are disturbing. Absolutely they are. And tonight an Irwin man is in the Allegheny County Jail accused of killing his girlfriend and then mutilating her body. His family says his history of mental illness may have an impact on these disturbing developments. Pittsburgh's action. Get the flying French toast out of here. And, and let me say this. You already know if that was a black man, let's keep it real, that would never be factored in. They would never even bring it up. They actually, they was probably just don't, not, even, not even speak on it. Even if they briefly did, they would not. Oh, so there'll be, there's no excuse for what he did and this and that. And rightfully so. However, which is no equality, which I'm not, which is no equality, 
But my thing is, if that's the case, then I guess you again, these divestors should call this out, but they're not. OK, you have a melanated woman being murdered brutally, inhumanely, body mutilation, maimed, died of a painful death and being scalped. And you and you black pro black, you pro black swirlers, you pro black, you pro black women. You feminist. The fact that you're not going to speak on this and you divestors in the in them chocolate chases, the fact that you're silent on this. I don't have no words to say, but y'all, y'all, y'all tell me who the hell you are. What's your sisters? Action News 4 was told illness. His family says his history. His details are disturbing. Absolutely, they are. And tonight, an Irwin man is in the Allegheny County Jail accused of killing his girlfriend and then mutilating her body. His family says his history of mental illness may have an impact on these disturbing developments. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 was told by the manager of the Roadway Inn that he discovered blood outside of room 333. He reviewed surveillance video and saw a man step outside the room covered with blood. The manager called police. Investigators with Allegheny County Police say Matthew Gripschaw was covered with blood when they arrived and tried to hide a knife. They discovered the body of his girlfriend, Rochella Anderson, under the bed. In the criminal complaint, it says she was stabbed several times and was scalped. Upon searching the room, detectives say they found Anderson's scalp and teeth in a bathroom trash can. Gripschaw was arrested and taken to Forbes Regional Hospital to be treated for cuts, when detectives say he made several statements. The criminal complaint says this about Gripstraw's statements, quote, didn't like murdering a woman, and he was up all night cleaning up from the barbaric act, and had to do what I had to do. Wait, 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 wait. What in the French toast do you mean you had to do what you had to do? And he did not like, <clears throat> and he did not like murdering a woman. Really? But you murdered a woman inhumanely, brutally, where you broke her jaw, got her teeth all over the place. I mean, you scalped her, you tortured her, you tortured her, and who knows what you did. Probably graped her too. Did all types of wicked acts. And again, and the fact that the matter is, there's no outcry, there's no justice for this woman. But I remember making a post on my um, Instagram, my Instagram account that got hacked. Okay. And look how they're just, it's, it's, it's just, it's just like, this, this, it's just they're rationalizing this, and, 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 and it's, they're just rationalizing, like trying to like make him seem like he's the victim. No, he's a goddamn that motherfucker need to be in death row, and this should be street justice. But again, you know what? Again, watch. But again, where's the protect all black women campaign? Where's the protect black women campaign? Where's y'all? All y'all. Especially from the uh, the pro black unconscious community, where the hell are you? Where's the where's the protect black women outcry now? Where's the where's the where's the me too? Okay, that answers our question. All this y'all, where's the black sisterhood? Where's the sisterhood code? Oh, I forgot. We got the ghetto gaggers. Mammy Bedwinch code on, on display. You know, basically, the, we had, there's a divest, there's a new divestor code that's going on, and I think it's always out, been out there, but now it's just gotten real heavy. But I'm gonna finish the clip. Rips Charles' parents tell Pittsburgh's Action News 4 they're devastated and shaken by the events. They say Gripschaw and Anderson were at their home for Christmas and were very close but they say their son was diagnosed as bipolar at Westmoreland Behavioral Health Services two years ago. They also say 
He stopped taking his medication recently, but even in his sickness, they say they would never imagine their son taking another person's life. Stop the cap. Stop the fucking cap. That's that's BS. Life. And tonight, Greg Bay, he stopped taking his medication recently, but even in his sickness, they say they would never imagine their son taking another person's life. Stop the cap. And tonight, Greg Shaw is charged with criminal homicide, tampering with evidence, and abuse of a corpse. He remains in the Allegheny County Jail. Reporting live from Monroeville, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. And again, that's a hate crime. And it is, a, it is basically, this is white privilege. I want you black women to understand this, okay? We're not, gonna, we're not even talking about black men, okay? Because even when you have self-hating black men, whatever issues they have with, male, with black women, we understand that there's a risk involved. You know what I'm saying? When we step outside the community, we already know it's, but my thing is within the community, it's really no difference. Okay? <clears throat> so it's a unique experience, but where's all that she's a self-hater and all this other crap? Because I guarantee you that situation, that whole relationship and this is this woman is like fifty, and this how old the guy? How old is this guy? He's a year younger than me, thirty-seven, with a fifty-year-old a woman who's forty-nine, about to turn fifty. Though there's a huge gauge age gap. You mean to tell me, sister, that it was so bad that you got with a dude who's twelve years your junior? Now look. When it comes to age gap dating, it's to each his own. If you're an older woman who wants to date a younger man, that's your business. If you're an older man who wants to date a younger woman, that's your business. When it comes to you as a when it comes to a younger woman who wants to, when it comes to a younger woman who wants to date an older man, that's her business, okay? When it comes to a younger man who wants to date an older woman, that's your bit, that's their business, okay? My thing is this. Does it broke to me that that situation was toxic. It didn't happen overnight. And I was trying to find out. You mean, I mean, I don't understand a lot of you melanated women who are divested or not. This proves my point. Y'all can talk, y'all can here's the thing. If this was a black man, trust me, he'd be on death row. Believe that. I don't care what these divesters and these pro whack heifers from the unconscious committee are talking about. That always are, that are so gynocentric, pandering to women, but they always have some smoke to say about black men criticizing the hell out of, out of black men. But when it comes to black women and their bad decisions, it's rationalized. And the ones who do, the ones who try to be fair, no. The problem is with them, they walk on eggshells. They don't, they're so emotional, so in their feelings, dysfunctional. They all, they have so much resentment. I'm not going to mention any names specifically. I have, but I'm not going to mention any names specifically. But I know in the pro, the so-called pro-black sector, the black revolution sector, the black liberation sector, it's like, y'all have all this negative stuff to say about black men. From your ex bad experiences which is a few. You ain't met every black man. Just like when black men complain about black women. We ha I have not met every black woman. We have not met every cis every black woman. So we cannot make broad, ignorant statements and generalizations the craze, make these crazy statements based on the hurt and the traumas we are dealing with. Because a lot of us are not taught right. We're not shown right. And we are in delusion a lot of times. Okay? But again, you had a woman out in Florida, which I think I'm just going to do a separate video on. I'm going to do that again. You had her name was Kathleen Moore. She was she was laying in the caves. 
brutally murdered. I I think her body was burnt. Sisters. Okay. You had another sister, Lauren Smithfields. Met a guy off of, met a Caucasian male off of Bumble. No justice for her. I want you melanated women to understand this. Okay. Because there's a pattern here. I'm sorry. And I got to say it like this. A lot of you ladies make poor decisions with the men you mess with. A lot of y'all overlook decent brothers, potential good men. A lot of y'all get all hypergamous. I'm not saying that's race specific, but that's due to social engineering and conditioning. Y'all go for the guy that's flashy. You go for the guy who's fine. You go for the guy just on money. But when it comes to skills and common sense, intelligence, y'all don't respect that. But you want a man to respect you based on a college degree. But he got a college degree. Y'all don't respect him unless he got dollars. He got to have swag and a mouthpiece. But here's the thing. I bet you she it this, and it was so damn toxic. What are you doing with a, a, a younger, crazy, dysfunctional, dusty, broke ass, nasty, ain't took a bath, cave, Chad? Sister, I know you could do better than that. I mean, I mean, my thing is that that's your that's her choice. However, her choice and, the, and who she chose as a mate got her brutally murdered inhumanely. And she's a victim of a hate crime and she's not going to get justice either. I mean, she got murdered, beaten, body mutilated, broken jaw, disfigured, scalped, and likely great, tortured, and her death. But you divestors, you swirlers, are silent. And I don't like that. If that was a black man with a white woman and that black man got brutally murdered, y'all would, would have choice words. You need to leave them white girls alone when a lot of times they come to us. A lot of times, when, and then y'all will say that's what he get and all this other crap. But when y'all swirl, when y'all die, when these black women die this, where's the chocolate chasers that claim to love black women are silent. These white liberals or white conservatives, especially white liberals are silent. Those white feminists are not going to say nothing. But what kills me is a lot of these black women who are divestors, who are pro swirls or the, these womenists, these black feminists are silent as hell. That's what gets to me. But if this was a black man, you would have all types of stuff to say. OK, but something when it happens to black women divested, like where's your, where's your Nala says on this? Where's your Cynthia G's on this and all these di divest channels? And we already know that the cave, the lamestream cage free media is going to say nothing. If this was a black man, they would make there'd be all types of means and jokes, even though they would be, it, it, they would take pleasure in broadcasting art in humane murder. But this just, just so much crickets. This story needs to be national and international. And I want to. And, and, and you got goofy heifers. You know what I'm saying? You got delusional women. Now, I'm going to play a short snippet of this. Now, I'm going to do a different reaction of this, but th I need, need y'all to understand. <laughs> a lot of you, the delusion that's going on out here. Tight. <laughs> that white, white, and I'm not being <laughs> racist. James. I'm telling you. In the relationship. So true, so true. James wasn't my type. <laughs> James is. Mm -hmm. Stop the white. cap. Right. He white. He white. He think white. He white. <laughs> white. 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 <laughs> <laughs> white. I was like, I'm really with a white man. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? It made me realize that when you get to know a person, mm -hmm. he's so sweet. He's so kind. He thinks about it. Stop the cap. Else. And that is what I fell in love with. Mm -hmm. And that's why I tell people, I think that, you know, in this country, we, we get so political, yeah. you know, and we're, we're not understanding that people of different cultures can fall in love. Absolutely. Because Stop at the, the cap. core is our heart. Mm -hmm. At the core... Here's the thing.
this is this, and it's so and it's like you when you got delusional um melanated heifers like um Nani no love loser talking about it's stuff like this that irritates me because she's talking about if you just divest you'll be happy this is why you see more of this stuff happening to melanated women but they have all this stuff to say about melanated women metal melanated black melanated men but again that's it's who you choosing sisters Who's who you and a lot of y'all not dating with intentions. Y'all not dating with no purpose. And my thing is she's settled. Okay? But oh, but you can't say that because it doesn't fit a goddamn narrative. <clears throat> this these stories are getting out of hand. Y'all talk about black men getting caught up. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm sure. I know for a fact y'all can post stories on swirling gone wrong with black men. However, when it comes to Black women with white men or Asian men or Indian men, Latino and other ethnicities and other races of men who are non-black, identified as non-black. Oh, and, and stuff like this happens. Oh, you're silent. The selective outrage has got to stop. And then what pissed me off more is that where's the protect black women brigade? Where's all that protection? But y'all want black men to, to, to uh, when y'all lay in the caves, y'all want black men to risk our lives, our freedoms, where we can lose everything, our jobs, everything, to advocate for y'all, but y'all have no respect for us. So how can you protect a group of females who don't cooperate, who don't listen, who are delusional, and who worship the white male? There's nothing you can do. So these are going to keep happening. And you, you divestors at some point, you black female divestors and you divestors apologists and you pro wax simps like Taz. Yeah, I'm calling you out, nigga. You're going to, at some point, Cynthia G, Nyla, you're going to have to speak on this. But y'all don't care about black women. But the black man... That's always cared. Okay. The, the, the males that y'all choose. That which y'all happen to raise. That's on you. That's a you problem. But my thing is a damn shame. That y'all talk, talk crap about black men. But it's always black men. Always coming to your defense. More so than the other way around.